Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the week of August 2023. I'm gonna pull for you a seven card spread to take a look at who you're connecting to around this time romantically. I'll find out how they feel about you deep down, take a look at their true intentions to you, take a look at their behavior towards you for the next several days, and I'll also be diving into what's in your blind spot with this person, meaning what could be negatively impacting the connection that you may not even be aware of is even happening whether you're doing something to sabotage it unbeknownst to yourself or your person is or something or someone external to the two of you seems to not want you guys to be together for whatever reason and is trying to pull you guys apart um pisces the ace of cups just wanted to fly out um that's new love that's new love some of you guys are falling in love someone's falling in love with you We'll see if that card comes back out. It wanted my attention. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Pisces today in love for the week of August 2023? Who's coming towards them? And how do they truly feel about Pisces? And what's the situation? And can Pisces trust this person? Two more shuffles. One, two. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful water babies. All right, so the person you're connecting to this week, how do they truly feel about you? we have the Knight of Wands. So you have someone that's very attracted to you and they, they plan to come towards you with a lot of attention, okay? Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. What's their intentions with you? Ten of Cups. All right, that's good. Um, normally the Knight of Wands gives me a little bit of a pause to you know look at it a little bit because this person gets a reputation of being a player in most situations, but with your person's intentions being the Ten of Cups, they intend to do right by you. They want a relationship. This person intends to pursue a relationship with you, but let's see if their behavior matches. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, this person's planning to um, commit to you long term. This person doesn't want this to be a, a fling. This person wants to plan a future with you. The Seven of Pentacles as their behavior towards you tells me that they're reevaluating the relationship and seeing if it's ready um, for the long haul with that Ten of Cups. They're trying to be patient. They're trying to not be impulsive. They're trying to really figure out, all right, is Pisces who I can build a life with? I intend to build, build a life with Pisces. Is, is now the right time? Ten of Cups to the Seven of Pentacles. They are very attracted to you and they're ready to take action. And get ready for this person, Pisces, because they're serious about you. What's your feelings about them? The Wheel of Fortune. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune being your feelings, you're in this energy of, man, out of nowhere this person came into my life. I thought I was supposed to go this direction. Now I'm being met with roadblocks and U-turn signs and arrows pointing different ways. You don't really know what to make of this relationship with this person. You just know that this person was supposed to be in your life for a big reason. Because the Wheel of Fortune connects to fated encounters, it connects to monumental changes, it connects to just, you know, people being thrown onto different courses in life, you know? What's in the blind spot with you and this person? The Three of Wands. Somebody not preparing. You know, I see your person preparing but you may not be preparing for this. Pisces, be prepared, because this relationship is about to get very serious, and they want you to prepare, okay? You look all frazzle-dazzled in this art depiction. You're in this energy of, I thought I was going this way. Are you telling me I have to go this way now? And it's telling me that possibly at the end of August, which we're stepping into next week, something is happening between you and this person, okay? And they want you to be prepared, Pisces. They want you to be prepared. Because this person is planning to offer you something long term. They're, they're ready. They're ready. What's the potential weekly outcome? The King of Wands. Somebody take an action. This person's ready. The King of Wands is someone that is taking serious, um, serious, uh, serious, I had it. It disappeared like a fart in the night. Where did, you go? Where did it go? That thought I had. Did you see where it went? <laughs> Um, this person starting off as the knight, and knights are travelers. Kings are more stable in their energy. 
okay? So this person may have been on the path of looking for the one, looking for a person to, to build a life with, and now they're reevaluating whether you're the person that they are ready to settle down with. And once that decision is made, that's when they become more mature in their energy towards you, King of Wands. The King of Wands is ready to commit. Knight of Wands is not ready to commit. Knight of Wands is looking for the one, is traveling and just being open to new opportunities, new experiences, open to just looking at their little black book and just, you know, seeing who's out there, dating, mingling. But it's the King of Wands that is like, all right, I'm serious now. And you see how the sun just got brighter in my room leo energy and this king of wands is leo energy and we are in leo season so someone's having a sudden realization that this could actually go somewhere and someone someone's needing the clarity right now as well what is your advice the world prepare for a cycle to change or to clear out prepare for a chapter in your life to end for a new one to begin that's when the full card comes in what's the overall energy the hair font. Someone's ready to commit to you, and Aquarius got this as their overall energy. So you could be connecting with an Aquarius. Pisces, someone's ready to commit to you. The Page of Swords is my student card, the hair font is my teacher card. Someone's observing you, learning about you, and whether or not they can commit to you. Yeah, it, a relationship is written all over this reading. I just need to find out why you're not prepared whether you live at a distance from this person and you've got things to do to prepare for this person or you just may not sh be sure if this is the person you want to be with we'll see so their feelings for you this week is the knight of wands they're wanting to take active um, measures to come towards you i mean sometimes the knight of wands does get a bad rep of being a, a player but when I pull the intentions position and their behavior, it doesn't tell me that this person's a player. This is just a very ambitious person. Why the Knight of Wands how, for how they feel? Ah, the Queen of Swords wanted to come out, but I want it to flip out. So the Queen of Swords is someone very discerning. It's someone very receptive to what's going on um, and is open to hearing what other people have to say. Why the Knight of Wands? But it's also someone that may have been divorced before Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So this person's feeling like they could put in the work to build something with you. Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. And I got the Ten of, Pen uh, Ten of Cups as their intentions. Why are you feeling the Wheel of Fortune though? Why is Pisces feeling the Wheel of Fortune? The Five of Cups in reverse because you just now finally gotten over some sort of past pain, past um, situation, whether in relation to this person or separate from this person you're finally in this energy of feeling good feeling um, like you finally got over an ex and then the Sun just got brighter again which is the Sun is all about new beginnings feeling happy feeling joyful you you may be kind of worried about getting into something so serious um, because you're fearing getting hurt again you're fearing getting hurt again so you're wanting to wait three of wands and that confirms you're the one that could be hurting the relationship because you're not sure if you can give to this person. Trust your intuition, Pisces. If your intuition is telling you that this person is no, no good, just bad news, a walking red flag, trust your own gut. Don't make any decisions off of a tarot reading, okay? You're the one that knows this person. You're the one that has seen this person's behavior up, in, in, up close. Trust your gut, okay? This person's intentions is the Ten of Cups. Why the Ten of Cups as this person's intentions with Pisces, the King of Pentacles, and the Lover's card. The Lover's card, which is Major Arcana for Gemini, the Lover's card is intending to make some sort of choice. Okay, it looked like it was trying to fly up in reverse as well. So I'm going to honor both directions because it was like doing like a, oh, I, I don't know if my brain was playing tricks on me, but it looked like it was doing like a weird spin where it didn't know if it wanted to be upright or in reverse. So I'm going to acknowledge both directions. All right, so to acknowledge it in the upright, this person intends to make a choice in regards to their love life, in regards to building a long-term future with you, Ten of Cups. Okay, the other scenario could be that their intentions is to, you know, 
hold off making a choice about the future of this relationship because they are still trying to reevaluate some things because the seven of pentacles is the energy of needing to just patiently wait um, and see what you already invested in see if it yields you the results that you're wanting you know because if you look at this card closely pisces you see how this person is checking the internal temperature of their cupcakes um and there's some raw cake batter on that toothpick well it's telling this person that these cupcakes are not ready to enjoy yet at its full capacity it needs to stay in the oven aka my feelings are not ready yet for me to make this choice with pisces my feelings are not ready to secure this long-term relationship i need to figure it out a little bit longer I need to make sure we are prepared for a relationship. All right, so those are the two scenarios I could I could give you with that lover's card flipping out in both directions. What could be interfering with this relationship is the three of wands. Why the three of wands? Some of you, it could be just distance. Two of swords, someone's indecision, someone's indecisiveness. Um, and I was picking up on that being you. You're in this energy of is this person the right one for me? Is this person for my highest good? Is it even gonna work out? There's there's obstacles that are in our way. How are we even gonna make this work? For some of you, you may feel like there's too many obstacles in the way of you guys being together. Whether there's a third party involved, whether long distance is involved, you may be feeling like there's a lot of roadblocks blocking you and this person for, from having it all. It's the energy of, yeah, Badison, we have feelings for each other, we want each other, but our lives right now are just too complicated to even support us being together, you know? Take that however that resonates. You know, I, I, I've had some people come to me over the years that are like, man, I love my person so freaking much, we are meant to be, but they're staying with their spouse because of children and because of finances. You know, I've had those situations and there's no judgment this is a judgment-free zone. We're all here to learn valuable lessons and be on this experience together to learn and grow. So, you know, sometimes spirit will throw us situations where we meet someone that is an ideal soulmate, but they're with someone else right now fulfilling a karmic duty, fulfilling a karmic soul contract that we cannot interfere with yet, you know, or at all. Something may need time. That might resonate for a Pisces out there that someone's needing to plan accordingly, okay? But for those of you who are not dealing with that, this person who wants to be with you, they do, but you've got some reservations and I am picking up on this person just needing a little time as well. So their behavior towards you is the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about that Seven of Pentacles. The High Priestess. The High Priestess is the energy of trusting your intuition. It's the energy of keeping what you know to yourself until you're ready to disclose it with others. Um, I do see the Five of Wands and the Four of Wands right here. So this person may feel like there is some um, people in their life that could make some issues for them if they were to pursue you. Um, there could be some jealousy or there could be just some tension between the two of you with that five of wands surrounding a possible relationship four of wands okay so the potential outcome for you guys this week is the king of wands tell me about the king of wands please queen of swords and the four of swords and the ace of swords this is the energy of really getting out of one's head to really get get some true clarity. Find out what the truth really is. You guys might need have needed to take a little break from each other to figure out what you both wanted. I'm strongly getting someone may have needed to take a little time out from the relationship to really understand what they really wanted. You know, without the, the attraction thrown in, the lust, the emotions. Someone wanted to separate themselves from love attraction and all that other stuff and think their way through the situation and see if it makes logical sense so your advice is the world card tell me about the world card the eight of cups in reverse the eight of cups in reverse is not moving on from something not wanting to move on from something feeling comfortable in 
a situation even if it's not bringing you happiness. Sometimes the Eight of Cups in Reverse is walking back to somebody that you may have walked away from because of unfinished business and now you're wanting to finish that business with somebody. But the Eight of Cups in Reverse is also the energy of fearing um, letting go. It could be codependency. It could be fear of what else is out there and holding on to a situation because of uncertainty. For some of you Pisces, you may be the one that's in an unhappy relationship and this is someone new in your life and you're trying to decide whether or not it's best to leave who you're with right now um, which is comfortable for you but not making you happy to pursue this person you could be in a third party but if you're not disregard that if you're not in a third party your advice is to go back towards something that you may have walked away from to deal deal with it and let that cycle close out learn from it figure out what you were supposed to learn from it okay because there's a lesson in every relationship that we get into so your overall energy with this person is the hair font and the page of swords tell me about the hair font page of swords three of pentacles and the magician you both manifested each other and you both need to figure out how you guys are going to work this out together or just part ways all together no need to keep anybody stuck and stagnant if it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, it's the energy of you guys either wanna do this or not. Don't leave anyone hanging and waiting on the side if, if it's not gonna actually develop into anything serious and long term, okay? There could be a lot of success between the two of you. You guys could overcome some sort of obstacle with that six of wands, which is planet Jupiter influence, which is all about growth and expansion. I wanna get another card on this person's feelings for you. The Ace of Cups, and that's the card that wanted to come out earlier during the pre-shuffle. This person's in love with you, okay? But there's some confusion surrounding um, the relationship. Four of Wands, Seven of Cups. Whether it's because there are outsiders or because someone is struggling with, you know, making some sort of final decision or preparing. Pisces, get ready. This person wants to, to be with you, so prepare. Prepare. I see you preparing in this art depiction, but since this is in the blockage position, I'm reading the energy reverse. So the energy in reverse is telling me that you're not preparing. You're ignoring it. Two of Swords is ignoring something because it's easier, it's more comfortable. You know, it's the energy of I'll get to it later, I promise, I just don't want to deal with it right now. This person's coming to you with a love offer, but you might have to like change your life in a big way in order to accommodate it. Mm. Yeah, sometimes I get that when someone's needing to leave a, a, an unhappy relationship in order to pursue a new one. Go with your heart. Don't stay in an unhappy relationship because of finances. I mean, you know, obviously you gotta take care of your, your, your needs. Everyone needs money to pay their bills, but just follow your heart, do what's right, use your own discernment, don't make any decisions off of a tarot reading, okay? Do what's right for yourself, you're very, you're very intuitive. Um, for those of you in recent no contact with your person, I will pull their hidden feelings, but for those that resonated with this reading, I've got strong fire energy, so Aries, Leo, Sag, I got Gemini, I have Pisces here, um, Virgo, Gemini, a, a fixed sign, it could be anybody. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like the book of private reading, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of this video. If this reading did not resonate, do check out your August monthly that I did for you. It's in my August playlist. The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now and we've grown apart and you've moved on. That's for the recent no contact group. All right, so I'll check back in with you again in a few days for your weekly update, Pisces. So until then, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl and I love you. Later, Gators.